Hello everyone, welcome to SFDC Ninja and I am back with another video of Apex Trigger series. In today's video, we are going to work on our third trigger scenario of this series. We will also learn about context variables that are being used in our code. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is the scenario for today and in this scenario, we are going to update child record by parent record. But before creating this trigger, let's understand some useful points for this scenario. In this scenario, we are going to use many different context variables. Some of them I have already explained in my previous video. So these are the context variables that we are going to use in today's scenario. Let's start with first context variable, which is is after. So basically it returns true if trigger was fired after record gets saved to database or if trigger executes in after events like after insert or after delete. Next is old context variable. Basically old context variable returns a list of old version of S object records. And most important thing is that this S object list or trigger.old is only available in update and delete trigger. For example, if your trigger is on account, then trigger.old will only be available if you are performing an update or delete operation on account. And what it will return? It will return old field values of records. And last is old map. So the basic difference between trigger.old and trigger.old map is that trigger.old returns a list of old version of records and trigger.old map returns map of old version of records. You can use any of them according to your requirement. Let's move to our today's scenario. Before writing code, let's understand this scenario first. Whenever accounts phone field is updated, then all related contacts phone field should also get updated with parents account phone. Let's go to developer console. Now we want this trigger to be executed after updation of record. Also we want to update child records. Therefore we will go with after trigger with update operation. Whenever you want to update any related record then in that case you have to go with after trigger event. So let's write it. Now it is a best practice to write contact specific code. Therefore we will apply a check to ensure that this trigger should execute only on after update event. Like this is after and trigger dot is update. Now whatever we will write inside this if condition will only be executed if these two context variables will return true and both of these context variables will return true only on after update event. Now let's apply a null check over trigger.new and iterate over it. It's empty. Let's iterate over it. New. Now we will apply a check that if the value entered by a user in phone field is not equal to the existing phone field value. For that, we will use old map because we want to check old value of the code. Not equals to. If this condition will get true, then what we will do? We will put the account ID and account inside a map which will be used to update child record value. So for that let's create a map. map. Let's put the ID and count inside this map. Now we have to fetch all contacts related to the account on which user is updating phone. So we will use 
local query to fetch all contacts. ID. Basically, this key set method will return all account ID present in this map. And this map will have the value of record on which phone field is being updated. Like if a user is updating phone of account named Virat Kohli, then this map will have the values of Virat Kohli. Now we will apply a null check over all related contact list. And after that we will iterate over it. It's empty. Let's iterate over it. And after iterating, we will update the phone field of all related contacts by using map in which we have the account record value. Now, to update these contacts, we have to do DML operation on it. But it is not a best practice to use a DML operation inside for loop. So to avoid that, we will add these contacts into a list and after that, we will perform DML operation on that list. This is a best practice to bulkify your code. So let's create a list. List to update contacts and we will add all these contacts inside this list now we will apply another check over this list and after that we will update Let's save it. Now let's check whether our trigger is working fine or not. So for that, let's go to account. Click on edit. Let's change the phone field value to 007. If our trigger is working fine, then the phone field of related contacts should also get changed. Let's save it. See the phone value of related contact has also changed, which is same as account phone value, which means our trigger is working fine. That's it for today guys. If you have any suggestion for me, then please comment. I'm open to your suggestions.